Good afternoon, this is Clarkie. We've always been taught that everything has worth, but just how far can we stretch this concept? What exactly does material worth cover? Homes, cars, clothes, jewelry, but what else? You might be in possession of certain assets that could boost your profit by thousands and not even realize it. That's because until recent years, people didn't realize that these particular assets could have a dollar figure placed on them. These are your natural assets. Every tree, pond, patch of soil on your property has the potential to be capitalized on. Allow me to explain the concept of natural capital, how we can account for it, what you need to do to commodify a healthy natural environment, and how this is a revolutionary step forward in conservation. Natural capital is essentially the inventory of planet Earth's natural resources, water, native vegetation, soil, animals, carbon, for example. And these natural resources all provide us with services. The service might simply be the allowance to survive on planet Earth. We can't be here for long if Earth doesn't provide us with the basic necessities like food and clean water, for example. But sometimes there are economic services as well. In a society where environmental concerns are becoming increasingly urgent and more widely discussed, investors are turning towards ways to increase profit without an over-reliance on the finite reserves of non-renewables. Instead, scientists and economists have come together to formulate the concept of natural capital, where the natural environment itself is the moneymaker. But just how much your native vegetation, your soil, your wildlife, your carbon sinks can make you will all come down to the condition that those natural assets are in on your property. Enter Accounting for Nature. Accounting for Nature is an Australian-based initiative that is dedicated to using scientific methods to determine the overall condition, the health, of each and every natural resource on every property across Australia. And if your land management practices are having a negative, a positive or a neutral impact on those natural resources. This scientifically robust method of certification will then put you in a position to make informed decisions about economic investments and will give you an understanding of how much those natural resources are worth. How healthy your trees, how clean your waterways will all be determined by the Accounting for Nature framework. Knowing the overall condition of the resources on your property is the first step to putting a dollar value on those assets. Accounting for Nature provides a framework for assessing the condition of environmental assets in a robust and scientifically accurate way, while also making sure that it's pragmatic and practical for people to use. So Accounting for Nature has a variety of different methods. Each method is developed specifically for a different environmental asset, for a different purpose. So there's a lot of flexibility around which method you want to choose to develop your environmental account with. So basically, once you've chosen the method that you want to use, you scope out your project, you design your project, you register your project, and then you start building your project. Operating the Accounting for Nature methodology into our daily business operations gives us a robust scientific approach to how we measure and monitor all of our project deliverables. One of the benefits of using the Accounting for Nature methodology is that when we go to do government applications for project funding, it will give us a really strong foundation which is scientifically proven, robust and can be monetized so the government can see the benefit that we're bringing into that project. We're here today on Gundicum Station, where the landowners are amongst the first to incorporate the standards and practices of accounting for nature in order to determine the health and condition of each and every natural resource on the property. Thanks to generations of responsible land management practices, this property is abundant in healthy vegetation and wildlife and is showing great potential in the revolutionary carbon farming sector. The Accounting for Nature framework and the concept of natural capital is not just about bringing in more funds, but is also presenting a great opportunity in conservation. Understanding the condition that the natural resources on your property are in is key to gaining an understanding of what you can do to further improve those resources, which will not only prove economically viable, but also create a healthier natural environment on your property. 
thereby introducing a mutually beneficial relationship between economics and the environment. So accounting for nature and the methodology that we use is measuring the environmental condition um, of our natural assets, so our soil, our vegetation, our water quality, and all of that is really important in terms of um, grazing beef because as a grazier, uh, we produce grass, essentially, and that's what we need to grow. So by managing those natural assets, such as your soil and your water and your vegetation, you're actually being able to measure and monitor how those assets are playing into your production. So here at Gwindicum, we're sort of part way through um, collecting, collecting data and we've had a bit of a sneak peek about at some of the wildlife data that's starting to come in. Um, we've captured um, rufous betongs and uh, feather-tailed gliders and long-nosed bandicoots um, along with some of the more common species, So, but they were the real highlights. Um, we're also getting a really good sense of what the vegetation conditions like and this area is in a really dry spell, um, but the vegetation seems to be really resilient to that sort of to those dry conditions and it's a real testament to how this property is managed. So we're measuring a few different types of environmental assets here at Gundicum. We're measuring the native vegetation um, and so that's been kind of um, segmented into vegetation types. Um, so grassy eucalypt woodlands, um, eucalypt forests on floodplains and then there's some areas of remnant rainforest here which are really unique and really interesting to, to document. Um, and so we've been um, sort of cruising all over the property and collecting data, in, um, setting up sites in each of those, you know, sort of unique ecosystems and documenting the condition of the vegetation. And what we're finding is that some of those key indicators of ecological health, things like whether there's regeneration of the tree species, whether there's good ground cover, you know, they're all, even despite the dry conditions, are all doing really well. Bernard Murray Regional Group's strategic mission is to create a platform which creates visibility of the work we do and the impact that we have within our region. Incorporating the AFN method methodology, it will help us deliver the, on this mission statement by giving us a robust framework in which we can measure all the success of the work that we do. So I think other landowners, the starting point is really looking at what natural assets are on your property um, and how they're, how they're functioning and what, they're, what ecosystem services they're providing. We'll be working closely with Accounting for Nature in the near future to further this exciting prospect. So if this is something that you think you might be interested in getting involved in, remember to stay tuned and keep an eye out for more information which will be coming out very, very soon. This entire concept is not just about economic viability. It's also presenting an alternative solution to some of the most dangerous environmental problems faced in regional Australia.